Hello everyone, this is Dowel20, and welcome to episode 49 of Dowel20's Let's Play of Not Too Complicated, uh, where today I'm setting up ultimate crushing factories, I want split on and split on and smelting factories over here, uh, because between episodes I've been making lots of stuff, but also realized that the stuff that I'm making lots of, I'm not making enough of. Uh, long story short, gotta tick accelerate all the things. So I've got an ultimate smelting factory over here that will make glass for me, and I've got a crushing factory over here that will make this stuff for me and if i set everything up right we should be cool we should be cool um now in addition to being cool i would like to have an entangled block to handle some things in a moment which i should be ready for uh and we're also going to need a crafter card dude and we're going to want uh some paper that should be cool excellent so what are we doing today? Uh, let's kick off this dude. So between episodes, I've made what I would call a healthy amount of these dudes. 61 of them so far. Almost enough. Almost enough for four more energy collectors. Because I suspect we're going to need a lot of energy collectors. Quite a lot. So let's activate this with a good redstone signal again. And that should kick off the auto crafting process. Which if I'm not you know, mistaken, will be heavily tick accelerated. Which you know Dyer's a fan of. You know I love my tick accelerators. Are they OP and broken? Yes. Are they fun? Also, yes. Look at it go. Oh my goodness, it's so good. All oh, the crafting. So the crushing of the Sirtis Quartz and the smelting of the glass was definitely a slow point for um, the the auto crafting processes that we had here. So by, by moving those machines, well, I didn't move them over there. I added them over there. Um, we had some good luck. Also, I should note, um, make sure to handle dust. I learned what happens if dust builds up too much. <laughs> a little explosion. A little explosion between episodes because I left that thing running. Uh, and it produced a hefty amount of dust in here. Uh, to the point where my paper ran out. Uh, so I set up a quick little automation, which I'm going to repeat in a moment over there. But I've now got um, paper going in. Uh, and extracting the, the clay that gets produced back and dumping it into the uh, AE system. So that's now automated and handled well. So that's cool. Look at you go. Beautiful. Nice work, sir. Very proud of you. Couldn't be prouder. Um, you know, looking great. And here we go again. Sweet. <laughs> Look at all that smelting operation and the surface quartzing operation. It takes seconds now. Maybe, maybe in total like a minute. Oh, what's going on over here? Why did I see dust in this general area? Why is there dust happening here? Am I crazy or is there dust happening over here? How did that dust get here? I would expect dust in here. I didn't put paper in yet because I wanted to see it capture it correctly. But am I crazy or was there like dust falling over here? Let's see, Sirtis Quartz Dust, if I want like a thousand of them, start. Wow, you move quickly. Whew, that is some fastness right there. I can't believe we knocked out a thousand Sirtis Quartz Dust that fast. Uh, so that's a thing. I don't like that that dust showed up up here though. I thought I was capturing it well enough. Maybe I need a slightly larger capture area. I mean, over here I made it, how big did I make it? I mean, I made it in front one more and it's been capturing it all. So maybe I should bump it forward one more. Might not be a bad idea. Might not be a bad idea. Just to make sure there's no chance of any problems, I would like you to continue with the crafting and the dust collecting and all that. Would be nice. Cool. So that's your crushing factory. Yeah, he should be fine. He should be fine. He should he should capture just fine over here. And if I'm missing something, then I'll just deal with it in a sec. Like I said, I want to collect a few dust in the basin there, and then I'm going to hook up my entangled block for you guys. Um, to show how that's set up, though you probably have a pretty good idea of how it works because you've seen me do entangled blocks plenty of times. Uh, so not a big deal. So are you going to be cool here and actually make stuffs or what? Eh. 
Yeah, look at that. It's so good. I love it. I love how fast it's going. And I mean, to be fair, I think we're about as tick accelerated as we can be at this point. You know, I could tick accelerate my crafters, but I think I think they're going fast enough. If you really wanted, I don't even know if you can tick accelerate molecular assemblers. I think most of the applied energistics blocks blacklist tick accelerating on them. Um, and it's really the controller at that point that's doing a lot of the processing. So, you know. Hey, good. We've got dust in there. Nice. All right. That's what I wanted to see is dust showing up in there. Beautiful. So now I'm going to set up my, my, my entangled block. Uh, now you're going to be a little bit of a mess, mostly because, let's see, if I put you, let me try you here. And we're going to do out the bottom and into the thing. And, the duh, duh, and we're going to do this. And we're going to have you with paper. And then we're going to bind you to that. Cool? All right, perfect. And then we want to extract the clay that you produce out. OK? So now if I config you to export bus paper and craft some for me, he should happily be doing that. And now he's collected that dust, which is no longer in that basin, and we're cool. All right, so we'll just keep an eye on that make sure I properly configured the, the clay collection thing. But yeah, we're in good shape now. So that should handle all our dust going forward. And at this point, we should be very close to having the ability to craft four more. Yep, we're at the point now where we can craft four Mark III collectors. Now I did happen to notice something got stuck and this is the first time this has ever gotten stuck. So what happened, buddy? What's wrong? What's wrong? You think you're not crafting anymore. You think you're not crafting anymore, huh? Why do you think you're not crafting anymore? Because you totally are crafting. In case you're unawares. I wonder if blocking mode is necessary at this point. Because it's probably not. It's probably not. If I turned off blocking mode. That might solve that. Because technically, this redstone signal triggering the hey, go ahead and craft now thing is going to not make blocking the node necessary anymore, I would say, right? I would think. Why is this thing all of a sudden being all kinds of a mess? I don't know. Everything was working so beautifully. That's all right. It's probably just uh, got stuck on something, I'm sure. Oh, I'm standing near it. Well, that'll 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 definitely cause a problem. Let's back away a little bit. I think me standing near it doesn't help. I'm I'm magneting up the uh, stars that it's dropping. But yes, let's kick off Mark III Collectors and let's see the plan for today. Uh, I made these guys is we want to start working towards our infinity catalyst, right? And we know we're going to need lots of fading matter. In addition to that, I'd like to remember I set up um, last episode. I told you guys I added EMC values to our Klein stars. Um, so all tiers of star now have an EMC value, which means that we don't have to spend, you know, 40 something days craft in a colossal star omega we can make it with emc which i you know my opinion is a pretty good way to go all right so let's uh let's see if i can kick off the mark three energy collector i should be able to make four of them uh so we need more the only thing we need more of is lutetium which re remind me where this comes from popped chorus fruit gives me a 50 percent chance the ingots are 100%, chorus is 50, chorus itself is 50% for one. So pretty much I would like to go, shulker shells is 100% chance for eight. Let's do that. Let's do the shulker shell route. 
Let's set this. Let's get ready for some alchemical automations because we know we're going to need it. Um, so let's set up an alchemical automator system that we can use to auto craft some of the chemicals that we're going to need. Does that sound cool? I like that plan. So where do I have some channels available is the main question. Uh, do I have some down here or, did I, or am I in use? I'm, I've got seven available on this line, it looks like. Seven, is that right? Yeah, seven-ish. We are, we are getting dense on channels, folks. I'm really kind of doing as much as I can to get use out of this one, one connector here. But let's set up this, uh, let's set this system up over here. Does that sound like a plan? I think that sounds cool. I think that sounds cool. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a chest and we're going to have that be your input for items with an interface, okay? And then from there, we're going to transfer items to the chemical combiners and dissolvers that we need to do, right? So dissolver's gonna sit here. He's gonna break the resources down. And then we're gonna transfer the resources into either um, a trash can for some resources and the combiner for others, right? So I want the combiner to be further away than the trash can. And what I'm gonna probably do is something like this. Okay, and then you can come out there. Does that sound like a plan? So this way he'll extract what he gets. We'll filter what's allowed to go into the item trash can with a whitelist. Okay, so if I got a shulker shell, of which we have them, they are EMCable, so this is easy peasy, right? So calcium carbonate is what we want to filter into the junk, right? So we're gonna add you to the filter. And now if we extract from you, you should have voided all of this and not voided that. Perfect. Unlock recipe, target that. Sweet, all right, cool. Now lutetium we need 16 of. So what we can effectively say is two shulker shells equal one of these dudes, right? Now they both need power, which shouldn't be too big of a problem. Um, we'll just do this. And this. Now you might need to be on the generators network or the reactor network, just to make sure that you have plenty of power. Cause those things are power hungry, remember? Remember how expensive this is? These are expensive recipes. All right, then we can do this and you'll extract that dude, cool? So then the recipe is really simple at this point. Now we will probably need multiples of these if we need other material types, right? But the recipe becomes really simple. It is simply two shulker shells equals one lutetium ingot. And then we stick that in here. And now if I want, oh right, you need an actual channel. Yeah. Okay, so now if I want lutetium, which would be you, uh, we could say, give me 21 of those, and that's going to require 42 shells. Um, that's right, I also need to get these shells into the chemical dissolver. Uh, I forgot about that piece. That is a minor detail that I'm going to have to solve right now. -ish. Um, I might need to move this whole thing over one, or I could just move the chest over backwards one. Yeah, let me cancel that request. Canceled. I forgot about transferring the items in that direction. Yes, yes, yes. So we're, we're um, yeah. I want to probably move this over left one. That's what I'll do. So what we'll do is we'll put you here. 
We'll put the chest on top of that dude. We will put our cables back here. Put our pattern back in. And then you're gonna connect here. But then we're also gonna have a dude here who will not connect here, who will do this, right? And then you will do that quickly, right? So that should be cool. So now if I said, give me 21 lutetium start, he should be breaking down. He should be getting all the lutetium. And then do we, yeah, 21 lutetium. All right, well, there you go, sweet. So now I can easily say, give me four of these bad boys. And you have a lot of crafting to do, but he should be able to kick them all off. Start. And now, now we're gonna test for real if all the ridiculous levels of automation that I've set up in this time have paid off. Now, the one thing I will say is I'm pretty sure this Molten Soul Steel is super duper slow. Uh, and I don't know that there's a whole lot I can do about that, short of throwing a tech accelerator block near this bad boy, which maybe I'll do. Maybe I'll do. I mean, I could just make a quickie watch, right? And a pedestal. Now, I like to be cautious about where I set these things up at, but if I put you, let's say here, one, two, three, four, that'll encapsulate this guy. And he'll also catch some of these. Is there anything underneath him that I'm worried about take accelerating? I think that's all okay. I think that's all okay. Let's give it a shot, shall we? That's pretty cool. Definitely better. And it shouldn't be hitting any of these guys. It's a little bit, you know, too high up to be hitting them. Kind of like that. You know, the other thing I could do is put it in the air up here. And uh, then it could help speed up the melting in general. But that's pretty nice, frankly. I like that. We have a lot of crafting happening. I'll come back when it's all done and let you guys know how it worked out. Deal? So back in a few. Oh, my slice and splice got stuck. What happened here? I might need you in blocking mode. That might be what has to happen. All right, so how did a graphite electrode get in here? Uh, graphite electro, zombie electrode is lightning charge, graphite, zombie, electromagnet, and zombie head. Wait, what? Four lightning charge, four graphite electrode. Two electromingot, one zombie head. Actually, this is the correct pattern. Right? Am I missing something? Why are you not running slice and splice? Idle. Why are you idle? Explain to me why you're idle. Your idleness makes no sense to me. It looks right. Doesn't it look right? I feel like it's right. Does it matter what order? The, no. Shouldn't, right? Yeah, no, everything looks correct. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna break you. And then I'm gonna put you back down. I'm gonna put these things back in you and see if you wanna behave. Oh, I have, hmm. Something got stuck. I think the machine got stuck. Ah, 
That's what I'm thinking. I think the machine got stuck somehow. I don't know how, but break and replace seems to have worked. Boy, I hope that doesn't happen a lot. <laughs> All right, back to waiting for the craft. When when things get stuck, I want to show you guys and be like, hey, something happened. Let's find out what. But actually, it looks like we have everything ready. Uh, as soon as these next four Z Logic or next handful of these Z Logic controllers go through, uh, we should be good. I learned over the weekend that Rorax doesn't like when I take accelerate things. So this one goes out to you, Rorax. Okay, so this guy's all cooking. And that means next up would be you guys, I think. One of these guys should be package crafting next. I forget what. But yeah, we should be cool now. Oh, you're still waiting on 4Z Logic controllers, huh? Why are you waiting on 4Z Logic controllers that you never got? I'm going to cancel you. I'm going to ask for those mark. One more. Should have everything you need. Well, you would think, but maybe not. Start. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. You're stuck again, aren't you? You are, you're stuck again. That's why Z-Logic controllers didn't finish, today I learned. He's stuck again, that might be a problem. Well, I mean, it's not the end of the world, I can work around it, it's just annoying. All right, so you, 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 and what was it, Electrum? That should be cool. And he's stuck without being tick accelerated, so don't blame tick accelerating. He got stuck without being tick accelerated, so, you know. There we go. Sweet. Are you done now, then? Nice! That's cool. That's cool beans right there. Alright, nice. Alright, so then we can upgrade these guys in the manner to which we are accustomed. Yes. So, I'm gonna want... What is it? What's the first one we do? Magenta. All right, I'm going to do this off camera because you guys have seen this enough, right? Yeah, be right back. All right, so that is a bunch of Energy Collector Mark 15 fadings. Nice. So that should be cool in that I can use these for many good purposes. Uh, first off, like I could, if I wanted to, attach them to some of these condensers that are going back here. And if any of them were ever close to being low, which they're not, because remember I threw fading matter in them. But that would be a nice way to just have an unlimited amount of those resources. For now, what I'll probably do, um, what I'll probably do, I'm going to break you. And I'm going to just put you on all sides. Okay, but before I finish that, what I'm going to do is get a entangler. And get him linked up. We'll link you to you. Cool. So you should already be going really fast at this point. But we'll just make it a little bit faster. And then you should be easy peasy. Cool. So now, if we keep an eye on this, we're at 596? Is that right? I think so. Just to make sure that, yeah, there we go, 597. Beautiful. So that'll four times faster now, or three times faster, right? I had two, I have six now, so three times faster. Uh, production of white matter. So now my question is, I have no idea how we're doing for stars, right? So here's my plan. Let's do this. Let's get like a sphere, right? What I'm going to get is a Klein star sphere, which is like pretty good. Yeah. So that's going to be 2048 Mobius and 256 Diamond. I'm going to hit start on that. And that's going to do a bunch of crafting. And then we're going to see how ridiculous EMC-wise cost this gets. Because I have no idea how close I am to having enough EMC to do this. But now I do this guy. 
and he's learned how to make a Klein Star Sphere. Now, I think I can, yeah, that'll dump it. So this guy can store EMC, remember, he's an EMC battery. So he's got 12.8 million EMC in there. Um, and then I can void him and that's cool. So now, can I, can these stack? No, not really. Well, that's a bummer. It's a little bit of a bummer that they can't stack. All right, so the next tier of that is going to be the purple one. So if I want a Magnum Star Omega, that's going to need 4096 Klein Star Omegas. All right, we're not going to jump straight to that level of shenanigans. How about Zwei? Can I make one of those? I can, but it still has a lot of crafting to do. 16 Klein Star Omegas. Is Klein Star Omega the best or Sphere? What did I get? Did I get Omega or Sphere? I got Sphere. Is Omega the top tier? It is. My bad. Can I forget you? I can. Yay. That's cool. Because what I'm thinking is, what I'll do, I will um, get the Omega tier of each, right? That shouldn't be a big deal. Big EMC batteries. So this one, by the way, can hold... 51 million, which is still just piddly. Piddly! Okay. Then I put all the spheres in there. Now, can I get... Uh, dry sounds pretty cool. You need to craft 169 spheres. Yeah, I might do this. Because they don't stack, that's annoying. That's annoying, but we could probably figure out a solution here. What I could do is just get a bunch of spheres. Or omegas, I guess. Yeah, I should call them by their proper name. And this is like nothing EMC wise, right? We do that, okay, and then we can make, you know, let's say a dry. That's 64. How about a veer? That still needs to craft some stars, but I could probably just manage it. Now, out of curiosity, could I get a magnum star sphere? Technically, yes. We have enough Mobius fuel and diamonds stored to craft that. But we have to craft, like, a lot of stars. We're going to have to craft 58,000 drives. We're going to have to craft almost a million irons. I don't want the crafter doing that much. Also, crafting CPU is not enough. So, let me do this. I have a better plan. I have a better plan that I think might work. So, here's what I'm thinking. You ready? Let's do this process. Okay with pipes where you're going to target the biggest star that I've found so far, right? So I want to get as many omegas as I can. If I can tear up to the top tier omega, that would be cool. So if I want to make an omega, okay, that's going to need about 4096 Klein Star Omegas, right? Now, if I get my Omegas that I have out of here, and we put them in here, I'm hoping that you're behaving. You can't be full already, could you? Could you be full? I guess you hold 32 stacks, right? Okay. So let's math that, right? If we need 4096 divided by 32, that's 128. So if I get drawers, this is 32, right? Four drawer upgrades should yield what I need. And then it can hold 4096 of these, right? Now, are you going in to here? Is that what's happening? Or are you 
extracting from yeah no you're putting in there good cool so I do this and you've now got a hundred in there and you've got a hundred and six you're gonna wind up killing me smalls aren't you 80 and 80 perfect 104 104 perfect cool all right so now if i want this guy right in terms of sphere of in terms of omegas and client star omegas we need 3992 plus the 104 we have currently and we're at 4096 see how perfectly this works out so this should be able to hold 4096 stacks of client star omegas so now what I'm going to do is target a Klein Star Omega here, okay? And this chest will fill up with Klein Star Omegas just enough to make the next tier of Magnum Star Omega, which, by the way, is 100,000 million billion, 103 billion EMC, which, frankly, is nothing compared to what we got already. Now, the next one, the next one's going to be expensive. That's 422 trillion. That's not nothing. So what we're going to do is get this guy made then we got to work on emc production to get enough to make this bad boy once we make this bad boy then we can kick the tires with a whole bunch of more cool stuff deal deal all right so now you extract with some of this stuff and if i throw a fading matter in here he should be cooking and then you're going to fill up with 4096, which just happened that fast. That's how fast it happened. Now I can make myself an Omega, a purple Omega, right? Next, start. Okay. And then the crafting process will kick off. And it shouldn't take that long to go. I would think I might be wrong. I guess we're going to find out. No, nah, it doesn't look that bad. It's fine. It'll be done in a minute. That's not bad at all, right? So now we come down here. You should probably have filled up with 42 because that's probably what fit over here. But I can probably... Just do this. Now you're empty. Okay. I'm just going to... Boop, boop. Locked again. Cool. Now my purple omega is good to go. We're going to teach you how that works. Boom. Boom. Now, by the way, his battery storage is 200 and uh, his store DMC is 312 billion. Right? Yeah. Still piddly. Piddly. Now the math is such that if I want colossal star omegas, we need 4096 magnum star omegas right so now we want to fill this drawer with magnum star omegas okay so i'm going to burn you i'm going to get a magnum star omega you're going to go in the drawer okay so now we need 4093 4095 magnum star omegas right now that is going to be Yeah, I didn't mean to I didn't mean to touch that with a key. The target of this dude and you, sir, will have nowhere near enough EMC to make that happen, right? I get myself as much fading matter as I have and throw that in there. And that was enough to make 91. So we now are at a point where the stupid amount of EMC we have ain't so stupid no more. You dig? Even with the 55 trillion that we have here, we still have a ways to go. A ways to go. So if I got a stack or two, I could do I could do three stacks of fading matter before I start to get low on EMC. And that was 577. We are now officially about an eighth of the way there. So we're going to need what I'm going to say is a pretty smidgy amount of uh, EMC. Now, if I wanted to, if I needed, 
if I wanted to get my EMC back, right, I could easily just fading matter and reverse this export and it would dump all this stuff back into the condenser and make it back into fading matter. But I think we're cool. We'll just chill for a minute, okay? So this is the way we're gonna go. So now what I gotta come up with is a way to amp up this EMC production. Now, I'd like to do it minimal tick acceleration, right? What I'd like to see is, can I work towards getting, can I work towards getting um, from project E, X, like one of these dudes? So this guy requires what? He needs a project final star. He also needs project final stars, but 15 X's might not be terrible. And that's gonna be 19 billion per second, right? 100,000 million billion compared to what I'm currently making is 671 million in a block. But we're gonna need a lot of fading compressed energy collectors, right? Now out of curiosity, all this time, this should have been running. So how are we doing on these guys? I'm just, I'm just wondering. Hey, not bad, 30. We almost have room for two more of those. So it's getting there. Um, now, now, now here's my question. I've got these guys, right? Uh, you can turn into the fading compressed energy collectors, but they don't produce EMC on their own. The only way they're gonna produce EMC on their own is if we add them to a power flower. So we need 18 of these guys plus the antimatter relays, right? Um, now, my question is, can we start making a star? We might be able to. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we can build an in-world star with these guys, but we're gonna have to make Mark III antimatter relays to pull that off. The only bummer about the antimatter relay is how many antimatter pellets it, you know, needs. Everything else, no biggie, right? It also needs those 16 million storage components. Ognosium, which, is that the uh, Dragon Breath one? It is. Dragon Breath is where we get Ognesson uh, from. Is there like a nifty way? Yeah, we can get it with Dragon Scales, which we're getting from Caged Mobs. Do we have a lot of Dragon Scales? Got 124 of those. Is that the right Dragon Scale? Or is it this Dragon Scale? Or is it this Dragon Scale? This is the Dragon Scale. Nah. <laughs> Um, I believe that one needs a lightning upgrade, it said, right? I just want to make sure. I'm assuming it's on there, right? Because it, it would have to be. Wither Skeleton, Wither Ender Dragon. Upgrades lightning. Yeah, so we're good. Cool. All right, let me see. How many antimatters will we need for Mark III? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 18 and 7 is 25 antimatter. And we're sitting on, let's go see how much we have over here. Remember the thing's off at night, and I don't think there's a way around that. 20 more, it's not bad, it's not bad. We don't have a lot, but we're doing okay. Honestly, we're doing pretty okay. Um, we definitely have the 25 that we need for one that we can maybe use to test and see how it goes. And then we're almost enough for three of them in total. Now, if we wanted to make the Mark 15 of this guy, the fading power flower, which generates a huge amount of EMC per second, remember it's 18 of these and six of these. So we're almost halfway to the enough antimatter, right? Um, what I might do, or at least try to do, is I think it would be cool if we could in-world build these two. Um, what I'm thinking is we could like build a real world power flower. Remember how you used to build those in Project E? It's been a while, right? This is basically a single block version of the many block power flower that you could build. Because remember, placing these gives you bonuses from the adjacent collectors. Um, and at max, he'll do 10 million per second. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, we might, we might try this. I have to remember how power flowers work but like the other dudes like once we get past the tier three hurdle it's just throwing large amounts of emc at it it's just making the tier three hurdle so let's look at doing this next episode just for fun to try it out for now doll 20 signing off hope you guys enjoyed the episode we'll come back next time i will and you know i will i will be leaving this running as much as i can uh see we're already at 34 like it's actually moving at a pretty good pace 
Um, in general, I assume we're probably at this point waiting on silicon. No, you're actually doing okay. How are we for silicon? We're actually pretty good in terms of silicon. So, you know, I'll take it. I think we're in good shape. That thing's just going to keep on running. For now, Dalton, I sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. Look at making Mark III antimatters. And then, uh, you know, we'll see what else. We still have uh, some stuff to do up here, too. Don't forget. A lot of this needs to be done. That's actually mostly done. But you, you're the big guy. And then some of these, right? And then we have to get into all the other ingots and stuff. So lots to automate still in this series. For now, wrapping up point. Take it easy.